What's up guys? Welcome to the Stats Free Sports channel. Let's get right into it. Here to discuss which team I believe hit up the Minnesota Vikings about Dalvin Cook. Now, let's get into it. So Dalvin Cook, who I did a video on, video on months ago prior to the Super Bowl on him not being with the Vikings in 2023. I thought he would be cut. I thought he would be more of a cap casualty than, uh, than a trade. But it just announced, maybe about 30 minutes ago now, that uh, a team has officially sent in a trade for the Minnesota to the Minnesota Vikings for Dalvin Cook. And I think that team right now is obviously the Denver Broncos. I have a few reasons why. Uh, a lot of people right now are speculating about a handful of teams. My Falcons, the Dolphins, Panthers. Um... You know, a couple of the teams here and there, but those are the main ones that they really, you know, really stands out and need to run it back. Um, but I think the Broncos are in the perfect spot right now, honestly, to really get one. Um, you know, and I've been saying from the get-go, prior to Sean Payton going to the Broncos, I didn't think he would choose the Broncos because of Russell Wilson. And now that he's took the, the job for the Broncos, I still don't think he trusts Russell Wilson. You know, I, I really think he wants to get the ball out of Russell Wilson's hands as much as possible. We know they have, we know they have Javante Williams there already, but you no, know, he's sidelined with a knee injury. Uh, news came out a day or two ago about Javante Williams might missing some time early in the season because of knee injury. He's still healing. The rehab not going as fast as as they expected. So you know, he could miss the first couple of weeks. Why not have? A uh, another back on the roster like a Dalvin Cook. Dalvin, Dalvin Cook, Cook, who's had some great moments with the Vikings, you know, but kind of had a couple injuries here and there to kind of, you know, little nagging injuries, especially the shoulder injury that definitely pops up here and there. Uh, could be a problem for him down the road. So I think the way it's looking now, the Vikings or whoever team gets Dalvin Cook uh, should treat him like more of an Aaron Jones back. Uh, you know, Aaron Jones for, for the Packers still gets his thousand yards per, per season the last couple of years, but he's not having the, the full brunt, the full workload like some other backs do. Uh, you know, so I love how uh, the Packers treat Jones with A.J. Dillon. Prior to that, they had Jamal Williams and a couple other backs as well, you know, to take some workload off of your star back. And I think the, the Broncos you know, will have a great, a great running back duo with Williams and, and Cook together. They'll be awesome. You know, that would be super awesome. You know, and they, like I said earlier, it takes the ball out of Russell Wilson's hands. You, you can do screen passes, uh, pass out the backfield a lot, whatever you want to do. You know, but you got two good backs, two starting potential backs to get the job done. You know, and I think that would be perfect. That's the best case scenario for Sean Payton and the Denver Broncos. Um, also, you know, Sean Payton is known for having multiple backs. Alvin Kamara, Mark Ingram, for example, uh, uh, with the Saints all those years, you throw in a little Texan Hill here and there. You throw in another guy to add on to uh, add on to the roster, third string, fourth string back. So, uh, Sean Payton is known for having a good group of running backs. And I think you know having a, a premier group like Williams and Cook could be you know top notch, one of the better ones, the better duos in the NFL. Um, but what would the Broncos give up to get Dalvin Cook? Now the rumor is, you know, I did this video as well about maybe three weeks ago about Garrett Bowles being traded. But in that video about Garrett Bowles, I mentioned a rumor of Cortland Sutton being traded. Now, I didn't think it would be possible. I definitely thought Judy could be traded first. But in this scenario here, I think Cortland Sutton going back to the Vikings, the Vikings who just announced today, uh, well, just not announced, but the rumors came out today about the Vikings and Adam Thielen will probably part ways because in 19 point some million dollar salary cap, uh, some 19.6 I think million dollar cap hit uh, due to hit soon. You no, know, they're gonna try to re restructure it. They can't come. They can't come to an agreement. Probably will be traded. I mean, probably will be cut. Excuse me. And I think uh, you know that came out at a perfect time. And now to see a team offering you know uh, an official trade for Dalvin Cook, I think it'll be perfect if the Broncos offer up Cortland Sutton, pair him up with uh, Justin Jefferson. And, you know, uh, that would be a good fit there for, for uh, Kirk Cousins. You got KJ Osborne. He's stepping up now. You got Hawkinson. You have a big physical guy in Cortland Southern. You have a, and then you have a, a superstar monster in, Je in Justin Jefferson. That will be, you know, best-case scenario. Uh, for the running back spot, you can have a couple good running backs back there. 
Um, so yeah, I think that that fits the best for both teams, honestly. You know, and then it's it's a weird thing because Broncos fans been telling me when I did the when I did the video on Jerry Judy about a week and a half ago, they were telling me he's not going nowhere. I'm like, what you mean? <laughs> I think Judy's the first one to go, and it seems like the way my you know the, if this rumor is, is 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 true and how everything adds up, the salary cap and the math and all that stuff, you know, Colin Sutton would be the one in this trade if the if it is the if it actually is the Denver Broncos. You know, Cortland Sutton probably um yeah, just straight up. Or you could do the Vikings give up a fourth round pick, fifth round pick. That sounds like good value because Cortland Sutton does has more value right now than Dalvin Cook. It definitely is a case in my opinion. So Dalvin Cook and a fourth round pick, maybe a fifth round pick for Cortland Sutton straight up sounds pretty good to me, you know, so I think that's definitely possible. We'll see where it goes, but you know, uh, cook has a cook can land in some in nice spots, you know, but I definitely think, uh, my Falcons, I say, no, you know, we have Cordell Patterson. We have, uh, Tyler, uh, last year, our um, rookie ran for a thousand yards. We don't need, we don't need cook. You know, the dolphins definitely need them, but I don't know if they, you know, I, I did a video just, a an hour ago on the potential of Miles Sanders signing to the Dolphins. And I didn't quite like that move, honestly, because I think, you know, Mike McDaniel has the same thought process as Kyle Shanahan prior to getting Christian McCaffrey. And that's, we don't need a star back. We need a bunch of good backs and they like to go cheaper veteran or cheap young route. And cook definitely isn't cheap. You know, if he gets traded to, 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 to the Dolphins. So that's a nice size contract. So I don't think they'll go that route. You know, uh, Bills, maybe. But I, I believe in his brother, James Cook. I like him a lot. I think he can be something special. They just got to get more weight on him and also more experience and a better O-line for that Bills squad. So, um, all in all, man, I think the Broncos are the team or is the team that uh, sent in a trade request for him. And I think, you know, if the Vikings, even if it won the Broncos, whoever it is, you should get Cook off your books ASAP. I don't think Cook, you know, He's good, but I don't think he fits what the Vikings want to do anymore. He's not consistently, you know, good. He has great moments, but, you know, just the way the way the numbers work, yeah, he'll get his numbers, but he's not really, you know, that impactful most of the time, in my opinion. The way I watch the games and watch the Vikings play, you know, he'll have his moments, but he won't be taking over as he's used to back in a, a couple years ago. But that's just my opinion on Cook. Uh, hope he stays healthy. Hope he have a great year in 2023. But as of right now, I think his time with the Vikings could be done. Um, you know, and it's tough seeing guys who've been there for so long. And you, you would think, you know, the business wouldn't really take away from the team. But it happens. It definitely happens. You see with Thielen. You just saw with Kendricks. I think Harrison Smith could be gone soon. You know, maybe next year. Uh, you know, so. This is the way the cookie crumbles, man. So that's it for video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.